Hey guys, uh, this is S-Man Hunts. I am making a quick video of my Crossman F4 uh, air rifle. I just got this one uh, about, about two months ago. I had one version of this. I had another one of these. Actually, I should say not a version of this, but I had a different one, which I had gotten from Walmart. Um, I took like maybe 15 shots out of it. And then um, it failed on me. It wouldn't. Um, it wouldn't cock. It wouldn't load. Like when I broke the barrel, it wouldn't. Um, I guess compress or something was wrong with it. So I sent it to Crossman Corporation, mailed it to them, and uh, they sent me this one back um, just a few days later. And uh, I've been shooting this one for probably about three weeks now, four weeks, and haven't had any issues with it. Very happy with it. Uh, took some time, uh, scoped out the rifle. Um, I've heard I've heard people complain about the accuracy of this center um, center point uh, scope. Um, I'm not sure how accurate it is thus far. I've been still, um, I guess, practicing with it uh, just to uh, get accurate and to make sure that uh, you know I'm doing all the best practices for shooting accurately. So, um, but I don't have any complaints with the rifle. And I'm doing a little bit of target practicing today. And uh, I was doing a, a little bit of uh, target practicing today. I'm very uh, happy with the results so far. I uh, got uh, a little target that I'll show you in just a second. I shot dead in the center of what I was aiming at. Um, I haven't done a group uh, with this new target. I'm gonna uh, continue shooting in just a second, but um, I feel like it's a pretty good buy uh, for about, I think it cost me like 80 bucks at Walmart. Uh, I've done a little bit of a backyard shooting of, um, you know, Dove and Squirrel. Very impressed and happy with the power of this rifle. So uh, this was an upgrade for me from my uh, Crossman uh, Pump Master 760, which I've had uh, for more than 10 years. Uh, this was an upgrade. This was my first break barrel. Uh, so very happy with it let's do a little bit more shooting all right I'm not really sure if you can see that but my target is on top of the uh, on top of a um, gallon of uh, gall gallon bottle there's a small box on top of it I'm gonna show you uh, the target in just one second a close-up all right this is a uh, close-up of my target and as you can see little boy smiling on this uh, box of farina I was uh, aiming directly for his uh, the face of this just as a target uh, nothing against the boy on this box and uh, hit it uh, directly in the center I'm gonna take a few more shots have me a backdrop here that's made out of uh, some pretty strong boards just to make sure it doesn't go through let's go check that out okay so as you can see uh, I got uh, this might have been the second or third not really sure but um, that's about uh, three quarters of an inch away from the first shot and uh, this additional shot was uh, off to the left uh, but that I think that's as a result of me not stabilizing the gun before I shot, you know I'm still working on my breathing working on uh, Stabilizing the gun and of course I don't have a tripod or anything. So uh, Keeping the gun stable is uh, is an issue. So I might uh, end up getting a tripod, but 
um, let me keep going a few more shots and see uh, how these groups look. Take one more. Safety on. Safety off. Let's go see how we did. So as you can see here, got an additional shot right in the middle of that A, uh, and the distance is quite a bit of ways. You know, this is this will be considered a small target, maybe the size of a, a rabbit. You know, depending on uh, what what part of the body you're aiming for. Uh, the other pellet, not really sure where it went. Might have went up here. I'm not really sure. That might have been there before. So. I'm still working on keeping the gun stable, but um, I like it, and um, I think it was worth the purchase. I might consider upgrading to an additional scope. Um, I've uh, seen reviews of additional scopes, Leopold's, and um, you know other higher-end uh, scopes. So I'm still um, target practicing, and uh, may end up getting a, an additional scope. But I don't really see any issues with this scope. I think if I had a tripod, I would get better results. Let me know what you think on your uh, Crossman F4. If you stuck with the uh, the uh, factory center center point scope that comes with the rifle, or if you have upgraded. All right, thanks for watching, guys.